Olivia Garcia is most known for her role in The Flash, but did you know she's actually from the comics? If not, I don't blame you, as she's only ever appeared in a total of three comics ever. First appearing in Titans issue 28 from 2010. She was born in the Amazon, daughter of Eduardo Reyes, grew up in Santa Monteria, sons of Rio de Janeiro, by her stepmother, Esperanza Garcia, and I apologize if I mispronounced any of that. She had believed her father to be dead, but she did inherit many human powers, and thus control the electronic spectrum. She later came to Gotham where she was caught committing a crime and sent to Arkham. This is weird to me because she's still a teenager, why are you going to send her to Arkham? I get she has powers, but she's a teenager committing a non-violent crime. I think she should have been brought somewhere else other than the house of serial killers. Now, her father is actually alive and finds out she's an Arkham, and he hires Deathstroke and his team of evil titans to break her out. After going through all the guards and even a run of Batman, they do eventually escape. They go to Brazil to reunite her with her father, only for Lego to brutally murder him, angry over him leaving them in the first place. She then asks Deathstroke to join his titans, but he declines and puts her dampening collar back on. This collar would take away her powers that she had on Arkham, meaning she will never be able to use her powers again. And that's it for Allegra. It's unclear if she's meant to ever come back or not, because her ending was kind of open. Personally, I don't think they did exactly what they could have with the character. I think the idea of a character from Brazil in the whole backstory they gave her would have been interesting, but then they instantly bring her to Gotham and she's put in Arkham. It feels like kind of a waste of an origin, because I think her origin in history with Brazil could have been really interesting to explore, like I said, they really just threw that immediately away and just threw her into Gotham. Which doesn't even make sense with the character, as we don't even know how she got to Gotham. I mean, I suppose we could just assume that she took a plane there, but why would she go to Gotham? It's not really explained why she went there specifically, just to commit a crime? She'd appeared in the sixth season of The Flash, most likely due to the fact that the showrunner being a co-creator of Allegra, that being Eric Wallace. On the show, she's an ex-criminal who tried turning her life around. She has a father-daughter relationship with Briar and a romantic relationship with Chester Runk. Personally, I think she's an okay character on the show, much better than the comics, but not necessarily the best character. However, her power set on the show, I think, is much more interesting than it is in the comics, as it's used a lot more, and I think the CGI on it is pretty good for a TV show. And that's it. Like always, please like, subscribe, and see you guys next time. Bye.